All right, hey everybody, I'm Jim Deedlow of AM1230WJOB in Hammond, Indiana. And I'm going to make this as, as succinct as I can because I've told this story about a dozen times and I won't have to do it again. We have a little problem here, which is our, with our STL, Studio Transmitter Link. Here's the deal. We have an old 400-foot tower, seven blocks to the north here, with 5,600-foot studios at its base. We were in there for 60 years or so. Now we've moved to a $5 million project here, investment along Indianapolis Boulevard in Hammond, Indiana. It's brand new, $5 million. You can see that we're in a temporary studio. We're building state-of-the-art studios right over there. But here's the problem. Our old studio is in an old part of Hammond, okay? Old infrastructure from NIPSCO, which is power, to uh, old gas, old electric, old phone, old water pipes. I've had to re repair all of that, okay? So what we're doing is we're sending it from a brand new Comcast, AT&T, all of this stuff is all kind of brand new in this building, and we're sending it just seven blocks to an old industrial area. So what we have to do is we have to do our radio show. I just did a four hour and 12 minute radio show. We have to send the audio here to the, the transmitter site. It's picked up there, goes up the, the tower, and then it's broadcast. It's pretty standard stuff in radio. I'm not explaining anything to anybody in radio. They, they all know what an STL is. Okay? Alright, so here's the deal. Take the, uh, the audio. I've, I've done this. I bought Comcast here and I bought AT&T here. And I bought Comcast at my old uh, studio and I bought AT&T at my old studio. And that is so that I could set up two lines that are backing each other up. Don't ask how I got to that point, but we've done this. We've been messing with this for about 10 months now. It's taken up hundreds of my hours, but we finally got it. We're going to set up two things. The only problem is AT&T is very old in that area, so I can't get high speed. So I use AT&T as a backup, okay? But originally, I had been sending our audio from here to the old studio on a VPN, which is standard in our, in our industry. And I was using a barracks-based system. We were doing it on Comcast. We were doing it, we had a failover to AT&T, but it kept dropping on Comcast and we couldn't figure out what it was. So I said, hey, you know what, Barracks is not top of the line. Any of you guys in radio that do STLs, you know, if you could put a Barracks and a Sonic Wall router on one end, you put a Barracks and a Sonic Wall router on the other end, that's, you know, that works, uh, but it's more made for like if you go out and do a game or something like that. It's not made for this solid between the two studios. So I said, all right, you know what, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to spend the thousands of dollars and we're going to go from a barracks system, because Comcast keeps dropping, it must be our stuff, to a tie line system. T-I-E-L-I-N-E. -E. They're repped out of Indianapolis. It's an Australian based company. They've got people that have hooked up their tie lines that have run for five years without ever dropping. Some of you bigger radio stations you hear are running on tie line systems. So I spent the money to put the tie line system in here and lo and behold, Comcast continues to drop, okay? But, so, you know, me and the IT guy, the IT guy and I are like, well, what in Sam Hill's going on? So we start charting it, when does it drop? And it doesn't all the way drop sometimes. Sometimes it just, you start in a garbage can and when the elected official blank and then you went and then we bought a pizza. That's what it sounds like. You just get blocks in there and it, it doesn't fill in so that it stuttered. Tyline won't do that. That equipment, I've had that checked three times. It goes out when it rains. Okay? It's raining today. It's out this morning. I have to use my backup system of AT&T. Started raining yesterday at about 6 o'clock in the morning, and lo and behold, I've got all my callers and listeners texting and saying, hey, dude, you're skipping. Okay? Well, that's because it's raining. When the snow melted, Comcast went out. When we've charted it several times. My thinking is this is that the old studio has old infrastructure. That building where our old studio was once owned by Julian Colby. He put cable in in Hammond. He's the first guy to ever have cable. Started it, made a bunch of money, sold it off to Comcast eventually, okay? So the infrastructure in that part of Hammond is the oldest cable infrastructure you can have. I don't know where it's happening. I don't know what's happening. But I've already done this at one point. I had our phone lines would go out over there over and over. We'd be doing a show and I had to do the rest of the show without phone line. I took 60 phone calls today. Do you know what it's like to talk for four hours and 12 minutes without phone calls? I argued with AT&T. Finally, they sent out a full team. 
three troubleshooters out of Mich uh, Wisconsin and, and Chicago, and they went through every all the phones around, and they found that one of the junction box had water in it. Yes, you were right, Mr. Dilo. Yes, we just got the water, we dewatered it, and they raised the junction box. No problem. Now I don't know what the problem is here. We are here to troubleshoot that, and I do not want to explain all of this crap again to anyone. We've got Capcast out here today. My suspicion is that it leaves here and all of this new stuff. We've cleared everything off the Comcast line. We use AT&T for internet. So you have one here and one there. We leave it here. We've got nothing today. But it's even worse because it kind of comes back and then it goes away. It kind of comes back and then it goes away. So that's where it stands. My suspicion is that the old infrastructure at our old studio by the old tower and the old, well, the new transmitter, that there's somehow some water on that line. So I hope that explains it. I'll, I'll add a couple of other things here. The phones and the, the phones are also on Comcast here. Those work all the time, okay? But I don't know if it's, they're dropping in a minute manner. As you well know if you're in radio, you just have to have a stable internet connection or kind of stable internet connection because there is technology built into the tie line that will basically hold the audio until it all comes and then send it. But it still has to be just like one blip every 10 minutes or something. You can't have them over and over. So I would say this to anybody from radio that's watching this. If you're ever going to do this, you better make sure that you've got solid internet at both sides. So I've got them running two things. I'm running a Comcast tie line system now and I'm running an AT&T barracks system. I'm on the AT&T barracks system right now broadcasting live here later in the morning after the show. Even though AT&T is not even high speed at the receiving end, it still works. And uh, But I, at any point I expect it to just drop and I have to go back to the old studio and broadcast, which we do from time to time when it rains. We've been running down there. It snows and the snow melts or it rains. So that's the problem. I don't ever want to have to explain this again. I'm Jim Deedlow, WJOB AM 1230 in Hammond, Indiana.